What's up, everybody? Welcome to Belglade till you get paid in an Escalade or a police raid. Yes, Belglade, Florida. Where her soil is her fortune. Yeah, I think it's more than just the soil making money right here. <laughs> they got out of the muck, muck city, y'all. Take a right if you can. Welcome to Belglade. Belglade Everglades, the Florida Everglades. Tractor and the projects. Oh, they're mowing the lawn, okay. I'm about to say. On the bug leg, y'all. This is Jose from Sun Life. And Katie. And I don't know why you pulled into their maintenance area. Okay. Yeah, we want to see the projects, not the... Well, anyways, guys. Um, bug leg, one again, once again. I know a lot of YouTubers from all over the country come here to show this, but we were showing this to you guys before it was cool to show it to you guys. Oh, that's a speed hump right there. Yeah, you got it like, yeah, you got it, got this. Bell glade till you get paid, you know what I'm saying? Like, one the bell glade. We were showing you guys these places before it was cool. Not every YouTuber in America comes to bell glade and Pahok and all these places, but we've been showing you guys these places. Now everybody thinks it's cool. I think one of our first videos was, was Bell Glade. We did Arcadia was one of our first videos. Arcadia was the first, and then we yeah. did other Nick stuff. Nick Johnson just did Pasco County and Moon Lakes. Mm -hmm. We were also the first YouTubers of this sort to do that. Yeah. You know? Um, they just did... Um, they just did... Uh, Nick Johnson just today dropped... Uh, dropped... Uh, you get to the end, take a left. Yeah, Nick Johnson just did Moon Lakes in Pasco County. You know. But we're the original Florida hood blogging people. We changed the name of Southern Life because we didn't just want to do hoods. Like, we want to do beaches. And, and a lot of people started watching our videos because they're moving to Florida. So we had to change the whole theme up. You know what I mean? Like, it couldn't just... It couldn't stay like that. That couldn't be the only thing we were doing, you know? And plus, Southern Life sounds a lot prettier. Yeah. You know, like, a lot of people are following us for real estate and different reasons. So we had to, you know, just polish it up a little bit. <laughs> and then, like, when we did this, the hood, the, when the channel name was called Flor um, Florida Hood Blogs, everybody that was following us was just into that lifestyle. And it's just not kind of good to have 400,000 people that are in the hood life following you. I bet our channel would have 400,000 people if we kept with that theme, though. Yeah. But we realized it's, like, it's better to have a small group of subscribers and a diverse type of content versus just hood drives. But if we just did hoods... And a diverse type of yeah. followers. Yeah, that too. Like, I just felt like, okay, we're only getting one type of person following us. That's not what we wanted. I wanted to have, like, poor people follow us, rich people, like, everybody. Like, I wanted to everybody. have a more, um, kind of a diverse audience. Keep going straight. Well, you can take a right here. Yeah, I wanted to have a more diverse audience. I didn't just want to do... I, I, I like doing hood drives. I do. But it, it doesn't need to be, like, the only thing we do for our channel. Like, there has to be more to the channel than just that. Because I feel like, you know, real estate's important. Regular neighborhoods are important, too, and that's just hoods. Like, like now our channel is actually getting a lot of views on, like, regular drive arounds, you know? Like, the main streets and stuff like that. People like to see, like, what the whole town is like. And I feel like if I only did hoods, and I had a lot of people tell me complain, like, oh, you only show the bad sides of towns. I'm like, well, that's what gets more views, and it is true. But, um, and they're just saying that because they're going to say that. That doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. But I realized, like, you know, you want to show a slow a little bit, show a little bit of everything, you know? Not just the hoods. But, um, anyways, yeah, our channel used to be called Florida Hood Blogs, but. And then we like started and we moved to Alabama, so you couldn't keep the Florida Hood Blogs name either, right? Because we're in a different state. Mm -hmm. And now we've even done, even now people are suggesting that Southern Life isn't even a good name for our channel. Because now we've done Colorado, New York, Michigan. But most of our content is still going to be South. Mm -hmm. Like we've even talked about moving to a Northern state, so that would kind of make this name Southern Life kind of redundant. But it's okay to rebrand, I think. But I don't think I'm going to rebrand. Even if the sh even if we do it, move to a northern state, I'm not going to rebrand it again. That's We're done. <laughs> and there's like several Southern Life YouTube channels, but they have different topics. <laughs> and there's another YouTube channel that's called Southern Life. It's got like 3,000 subscribers. 
I think I don't even know what their content's about. Let me see if I can find it. Southern Life. So we show up right away. Oh, there's another YouTube channel called Southern Life. I don't know what type of content they're doing. They're not showing up here. They showed up on um you search for such channels. I leave, right? Yeah. Let's see. Shannon, let's look for Shannon. Let's go to the We show up. There's another one called It's a Southern Life. There's another channel. She's got a thousand subscribers. I guess we're the biggest Southern Life one. Yeah, we are. We are the OG. <laughs> well, look at sure you using big vocabulary. <laughs> Alright, so let's drive you right into a. Uh, I don't like that I kind of mumble when I talk. A lot of people say that. Like, why do you kind of mumble when you talk? I'm like, that's how I talk, bro. What's the problem, bro? I know it's something we argue about all the time. <laughs> Me mumbling? Yeah. Well, not argue, but like. You can't like understand me when I talk? Like, I yeah, I'm like, words. slow down your words Yo, and man. then tell me what you just said. Yeah, cool, man. <laughs> okay, so Sun Life. Filters and you write channel. Yeah, it's called Southern Life. They have um, 3,000 subscribers. The biggest, I guess they do. Yeah, it's just like a blog. These cows are atheists. What? Yeah, <laughs> atheist. Yeah, it's a very strange blog. Golfing with a subscriber. It's kind of like a blog. There's the former Bell Glade Hospital. Right, yeah. I think we got an afternoon storm coming in. I think so. Yeah. There's the hospital right there. I think it's like yeah. obligated and gobbledated. <laughs> we know a lot of people who are born yeah, there. Yeah, we do, man. Yeah. Back then, that was a place to be born back then. I know. So you can take a when you see the Taco Bell, you can, you can take a right and then straight from the Taco Bell. Okay. Which is right up ahead. You see the Taco Bell? Okay. This thing right here? Yeah. Where the white building is? Yeah, you can turn right in there. Okay. Going to some residential neighborhoods. Most of the time, YouTubers are showing the other yeah. side. We're showing here as well. Supposed to turn before, not after. It's just going in the McDonald's parking lot now. You can do that too. It's blocked off. You can't go that way. Go right, left. And there's a chicken at the McDonald's. Yeah, it's South Florida. Of course, there's chickens in the McDonald's. Yeah. Look at these low quality trees, banana trees. <laughs> you might, if you can get to the advanced parking lot. Nope, it's a dead end. You can get back on the road. Uh, oh, that wasn't the best way to do it. Sure. When Dixie grows, it's great. I said before, not after. You'll be alright. There's no road there. Before the tackle bell. There's a road right there. Go to the back. Huh? I said before the tackle bell. Let's just go to the right now. Okay. You got a green light. Take a left. Take a left with the light. Go, 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 go. Someday you'll learn how to drive, you know what I mean? You can't be a bad driver forever. Go up to the next intersection. There you go. Okay, let's see, watch that curb. Can, there's office space for land. Social Security Administration here. Mm -hmm. Dude, I got the biggest headache ever. Mm -hmm. It's probably from the accident I had yesterday. Oh, yeah? He I, got in an accident. All by myself. Mm -hmm. He got 
got into an ATV accident. All by myself. Mm-hmm. Go straight. Go you want to tell them what happened? I, um... Drove into a canal at pretty good speed. And he got... A left? Mm -hmm. He got thrown off the ATV. Luckily, he's alright. I, I, I landed in a canal. This is a nice side of Bugley. They'll never show you this on YouTube. Mm -hmm. There's nice houses here. It's not all bad. Mm -hmm. They only show you like the bad parts and at night. And we'll show you the good stuff. There's, there's nice little sections. Mm -hmm. The worst headache ever. Yeah, I, sc I, sc I uh, scraped my whole belly, my leg, uh, my pinky got all discombobulated. Um, my knee. I landed, I flew, I was in the ATV and I flew over a canal. And, um, <laughs> why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> basically. Mm -hmm. Because you're in a boat, right? Okay, take a left and then get back on the main road. Get oh. going that way. Okay. So, basically... We end up, um... Flying over a, it wasn't even a canal, it was like a like a, like a little ditch. And the front wheel hit the wall of the canal or the ditch. And it came to a full stop, but I kept flying, <laughs> of course, over the I, I flew over the, the steering wheel or the handlebar, whatever you call it. I guess it's called a handlebar. He bent the handlebar. Yeah, I mean like my body the ATV comes to a full stop, but I keep flying against the handlebar. My arm broke the, the accelerator and then jammed the accelerator up against the brake on one side. And then I flipped over head first over the ATV and landed with my feet over my head on the other side of the ATV. ATV somehow lands in the canal, but didn't shut off. You know, it just kept working, I guess, even though it was in the canal. How did you get it home? Oh, I figured out how to get it to run. The accelerator still worked, it was just bent up against the uh, the brake. So I was able to just upside down. You can take a left anywhere you want. Well, we're done. Let's just drive her down. We could show like the stuff we're here if you want to. That's where most of the people hang out. If you take a left. Yeah, we might as well show it. Take a left when you get a chance. We'll show them the back streets where most YouTubers show. Mm -hmm. It's still hot, nobody's gonna be out and about today, but we'll just show it anyways. Yeah, you go flying over the steering wheel. Landed in a canal, almost drowned because it was like two feet of water. By the way, it's a little 250, so the 250 isn't supposed to be in two feet of water to begin with. But you know, it actually floats when you get in too much water. Yeah. The ATV, if you go in deeper than it's supposed to, it actually the whole front end starts to float. Mm. So it, it, it was actually, um, I need to get, I need to put a snorkeler on it. I need to install a snorkel on it. It's not supposed to be that hard. But I got to install a snorkeler on it. And I got to change the engine oil, make sure there's no water inside the engine oil. I should have done that last night, just checked on it. I'll do it tomorrow, I don't know, chance. But anyways, I go flying over the stand wheel, land with my feet over my head over the ATV, in the water, I almost drowned for a minute. Luckily the ATV didn't run me over. I landed kind of like next to it instead of the ATV landing. Cause the ATV obviously just keeps going. Mm -hmm. you know? And yeah, pretty much it hurt. But I don't regret a moment of it. I had the, the time of my life mm -hmm. yesterday, muddy and it rained like, I don't know, a good three or four inches, I would say, what do you think? Yeah, yeah we got a good three or four inches of rain. And uh, I went mudding in the rain, like you know, just slipping, sliding all over the, all over the muck. <laughs> and uh, I also hit a palm tree earlier in the day, but that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I was driving through the woods and it was all yeah. grass, and there's this palm tree and like the root of it like was slanted, so like I ended up. Uh, 
ended up kind of I couldn't see the bottom of the tree because it was like instead of being straight up it was like curved and there was a tree so I thought I was going to go between two palm trees it looks like they might be trying to gentrify this place oh shut up they're not going to gentrify it it might get a little bit no there's an investment real estate prices here shot up like crazy yeah. too I wouldn't say gentrify. Don't you even bring that word into this context. <laughs> the last thing these people need is for freaking millennials to start coming out here and setting up taco shops. <laughs> people from South Beach can start coming out here. Any moment now. <laughs> Actually, that's the story of Florida. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. stripes out here. Well, anyways, like I was saying, move up to the light. It might be censored. Yeah. There you go. Just show some type of movement to let it let you go. Uh, Nobody behind you? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah I just got to earn your stripes, man. <laughs> but anyways, like I was saying... It's gonna be a lot of people hanging out because tomorrow's a holiday. Yeah. Family's just showing. Mm -hmm. It's family time. Mm -hmm. And let's spend. You should spend time with your family. Yeah. I thought they were gonna fix all this. It's still, they haven't really moved too much on it. They're going really slow. I thought they were gonna just, by now they'd have it done. Maybe they just board it up and they're not gonna fix it. I thought they were gonna redo it. Mm -hmm. It looked like they were going to redo it, right? Yeah. It's a little garbage. Maybe this county is harder to pull permits. No, I don't think it's permits. I think it's just, they're, they're just boarding it up. Yeah. Man, is it me or does it look worse here today than ever? Mm -hmm. It's garbage everywhere. It doesn't look as nice as other times. Well, that's the, where that big monster truck thing was last time. Mm -hmm. still there. Ooh, man, it looks worse here than ever. Garbage and stuff. Remember when there's an economical crisis, like South Florida gets gets like before you hit a recession, mm -hmm. you'll start to see it here, like before you see it everywhere else. Yeah. That's just honestly. It's a bus stop. Right. I love how there's like more money in cars there than there are in building. Uh huh. Except that one. Well, that's how it is at our house. Yeah. <laughs> we need like $150,000 in cars. Yeah. But we live in an efficiency in Lehigh. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's how you do it in Florida, bro. Oh, man, this reminds me of old Bell Glade, man. There's like a lot of people out. And... <laughs> Did you spend time used... here? Oh, yeah, all the time. It used to be like, like see how it is today where there's people hanging out? And, yeah. You know, like. It used to be like that all the time. Take a right. Mm -hmm. It used to be like that all the time. Watch the pothole. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the next block. Mm -hmm. You're going to go back the same way you came. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. It's uncommunicated on the other side. So you're, you're going to the, you're gonna go around the block. It's me, it does look worse than ever out here today. For rent signs, even. Mm -hmm. You don't usually see those. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna go around the block and head back the way you came. Mm -hmm. You take a right and then a right. Studio art. Yeah, it looks worse than ever out here. More yeah. garbage and just kinda. Looks bad this time. Yeah. I think in South Florida, you'll see recessions quicker than anywhere else. Yeah. First of all, it's just the sharp, the real estate appreciated, like, 150 mm percent -hmm. in, in, in like a matter of like I don't know like the fastest real estate appreciation right right, here. Yeah, I think right. the fastest real estate appreciation I ever seen took place in Belgrade last year of anywhere in the country it was like insane price appreciation all these investors from New York and other places buying properties here They're, this economy even without the local people there's no, there's nothing. All this is agriculture, like sugarcane. Mm -hmm. There's nothing out here. There's no companies. There's no jobs. There's sugarcane. Mm -hmm. 
it's a really poor place and then all these investors come here from new york and, and start buying stuff and like pricing people slow down pricing people out it's already hard enough for the locals without that and you can't go back the way you came actually go down to mlk that way we don't we don't repeat the same street hmm? i don't want to draw attention don't do this street do like mlk keep going on mlk this is not this street this is the one you came up we'll go one two three four five to mlk and then we'll go out and okay that way we don't repeat streets or at least sure. two blocks down that way we don't repeat the street sure so. it's but it's like you know it's already hard enough for the people that are from here take to go down the street the van yeah, yeah, okay. It's like it's already hard enough without investors coming in here. Like it's just like it's already like economically it doesn't even make sense already. So um, and then you got all these investors coming in, buying properties from New York and stuff, raising the real estate prices like crazy. That just makes it harder for the regular people that are from here, you know? really makes it a lot harder than what it already like if it wasn't hard enough already to get a piece of property to make a living on here and on top of that you got all these investors coming in you know raising it appreciating the real estate prices there's a reason why this was affordable because there's not a lot of ways to make money it really isn't um feasible to make a living out here it's hard it's a difficult place to make a living but life just gets harder for the, the richer get richer and the poor just have to you know it gets even harder for the poor people this reminds me of like going back to cuba mm -hmm. like just the apartments and stuff and people on top of each other and hanging out and yeah just the vibes out here are so caribbean it's all, i think it's incredible yeah i don't even absolutely love it because uh, coming yeah. here reminds me of going back to cuba I don't think Little we're going to go grocery. back anytime soon. I want to go on. Well, you can't go back to Cuba. It's too yes. dangerous right now. Mm -hmm. Too much going on. There's too much yeah. unrest. Mm -hmm. But I love coming here. It reminds me of like going to Cuba. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. It's like, uh, I can't even explain it. It's like, there's th this is like so Caribbean out here. It feels like you're in Haiti or the Bahamas or Jamaica or something. Take a left and then a right. A left. Then, then we're at that point. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing like this anywhere in the United States. This is just, uh, just an incredible place, man. Okay. Yeah. Your turn signs some cars from what you're doing. Curb, 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 curb. You got, like, no clearance underneath this car. If you run a curb over, you're going to destroy the car. It's going to be $5,000 in damages. Okay. Yeah. When you get to the main road, take a left. And that takes you out. so much of Cuba. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to Cuba so bad. You can't. Yeah, you could if you wanted to, but it's really not the time to do it. It's not the time. Hopefully there will be a better time. Yeah. You know what's weird about like what people don't understand? Like People like us that came from Cuba or came from Haiti, mm -hmm. we came from absolutely nothing. Like literally nothing. When we come to America, and you make something out of nothing. Like, you're, you know, that's like the real Florida hustle. Mm -hmm. You come here with nothing. You gotta take a right. And then you can keep, yeah, kick a right. And then you can flip back around whenever you get a chance. You come from Cuba or Haiti with nothing. Absolutely nothing. You're going back the other way. come from Cuba or Haiti with absolutely nothing and in a matter of five six years you got your whole life set up you got a car you got a house you're saving money and then you got people that are born here and do absolutely nothing with their lives and there's places as poor as this in like states of the country and you're like 
lack of effort because there's poverty here in South Florida, but you gotta understand, everybody came here with, from Haiti or Cuba with nothing. A fresh off the boat is the saying we have here. We're fresh off the boat. You don't know, you don't even know English. At least when you see this poverty and you say, at least we have a reason to not have anything. Because we came from Cuba, Haiti with nothing. But when you see somebody that was born here, knows English, went to the school system here, and you're living in complete poverty, it's like, why are you in poverty? We, you know, we, we, we got poverty down here, but some of these people still speak Creole. You know what I mean? Some of these people still haven't became U.S. citizens. They still got a green card, you know? And they come here. I've seen old Cuban people, old Haitian people come here with nothing. And in seven or eight years, they're working on paying off a mortgage. You know what I mean? Eating beans and rice every day. Trying to, you know, do, you know, if they can't do it for them, then they're setting up the kids that came over here or their grandkids so they can have something. So when they're gone, they're leaving something to their grandkids. Right now in the United States, the Latino population is the fastest growing income, not as far as highest volume of income, but highest growing income brackets. In other words, the Latino community is advancing economically more than any other race. Some races, like white race right now, is only increasing 7%. So like while the average white person might have a net worth of like $190,000 net worth, their income is only increasing 3 to 7% a year. Uh, Hispanics and blacks have the lowest in, uh, net worth, somewhere between 20000 for blacks and like something like 23000 for Latinos, just small net worths. Blacks are increasing about 11 to 12% their, net, their, their annual net worth. That's good. And Hispanics are increasing at like 23%. So out of all the nationalities and races in the United States, the Latinos are on the come up. It's the group that's on the come up the most. Um, and it always blows my mind when I went to like Alabama and Louisiana places like that how you see people that they're from here they know English and they complain about poverty it's like you're born here you're an American citizen you didn't have to apply to be a U.S. resident and then after five years of that try to be a U.S. citizen if you can pass the test and pay for it because it's not free. It's definitely not. It's in the thousands of dollars to do that. It's a lengthy, expensive process. You know? But sometimes the people that get a, get a harder package in life, it makes them stronger. And people who have never really gone through much complain about an easy process, you know, an easy situation. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I got the biggest headache in the world. That accident yesterday, like, I'm still like, oof. My leg hurts, my knee hurts, my belly. I'm scraped up from like my knee all the way to my like belly. It's just one red scab. Check it out. I'm Bogalade. Love South Florida.